Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are going to be using an 11 by 14 canvas, and uh, we're going to be painting a flamingo. And um, I think we're going to get started. Uh, it's like, well, a couple more minutes, I guess. I should wait. It's always a good idea. Okay. okay. I'll just see what happens here in a minute. A couple of seconds. So I'm hoping that everybody's doing well. Um, that... Uh, Everybody's getting their vaccines. I uh, am scheduled to get my second vaccine on Monday. And uh, hopefully without any side effects. But the way it looks, uh, people seem to get the side effects. So we'll see what happens. Come on, Sally. You can come on over. Go ahead. You get in there. That little spot there is for you. So she has a little room there. So, oh, we have two. One viewer. Oh, hi, Grace Gill. How you doing? Like I said, we're starting out on 11 by 14 canvas. It's a gallery wrapped. Um, it's a Practica canvas. I got it through um, Jerry's Autorama. Uh, I was doing a online um, paint class uh, via Zoom and I bought a bunch of these. So. I, I'm almost out of them, but um, they've been pretty handy for sure. So what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to start out. I'm going to paint the background first. Uh, I want to get a nice soft brush here. We'll see how this one works. I'm not sure how it's going to work. This is a, oh, wow, number 10. It's bright. And I'm going to start with some black and uh, make some gray on my canvas. And then I'm gonna have that dry and then I'm going to put, put um, the flamingo one. Okay, this is that one that's kind of like, I have to get some new black. I keep saying that. for some reason I don't know what has happened to basic paint but they must have re redone something to it and if you have it for too long of a time period it just doesn't work right and uh, that was basic uh, Mars black and I'm going to put some titanium white down um, this is a if you can see that uh, master's touch <laughs> yeah yeah I haven't been doing too much I'll tell you what I have been in misery I don't know what's going on with me but this weather is killing me and uh, I've been trying to get some help as far as some of the pain that I've been going through. I was doing some part-time work. I actually quit that because I, I can't I can't stand for a long period of time. And today my hands, I hope I can paint because I'm in misery. But we'll see how it goes. I, I figured I gotta try because I miss painting. I add a little water to that paint that black there. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my black. And 
and I'm just going to kind of get this all nice. Yes, I haven't, I've had, I haven't even watched any videos lately, um, other than people's playlists that I do with uh, Team Build, and I've just been putting on some things that are not even artsy. I've been doing some interviews, so I wouldn't have to, uh, maybe I could do an interview with you, Grayskill. Uh, if you would be up for something like that, um, it wouldn't be until, like, probably the beginning of June sometime. I, uh, I've just been trying to get some artists and, and musicians and, um, trying to do something a little different in between this time when I'm like in misery like I am now. I think when it rains or if there's like something that's coming up with rain, um, it, it really has an effect on me. It's unfortunate. So I'm just like making little crisscross strokes here. My flamingo is going to be on top of this. So um, what's going to happen? I'm picking up a little white just to kind of get some gray in here. Just making some texture. There's something going on outside there. It's making a lot of noise. I don't know what's going on. Move this over so you can see it a little bit more. So what have you been up to, Anthony? I know I've seen some really pretty paintings. I saw some of your flowers that um, kind of represent some people coming out of the flowers. And that's kind of neat. It's a little different. A little abstraction there. Salvador Dolly would do all kind of things like that and uh, makes it an interesting painting. Okay, so I'm just going to be adding white here now and eventually it'll get lighter because I have that black on my brush. I know, blending it through here. That's, oops, I had some really um, nice interviews, and I have some good ones coming up as well. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that a little bit. Something different. Uh, want to get some white on here and then I'm going to add some black again.
get my sides here. Going into my black again. Nice this a bit. Somebody must be getting it tree cut or something. Oh, it looks like a cement truck. Hmm. Somebody's getting cement. period that I haven't been painting much, um, especially alive. I've been kind of doing things, uh, recorded like, um, and one of the people that I know, uh, passed away from the COVID and, um, been kind of like hard to understand that kind of thing, you know, because there's always these skeptical people saying that this isn't real and that these, you know, not to get these vaccines and it's just like so much negativity and it's just been really hard um, trying to get that together. I mean, it's just been, wow. I'm going to take my little um, blending brush, just kind of like blending this a little bit. Here, I can get this to blend out a little bit, just lightly pushing it up. round this out a little bit so I'm going to go into my black again uh, I don't want it to be square I want to kind of be round more round here to that area here. Just making a little circular motion here. just a little too rough and I'm not getting what I like so let's see here um oh okay great I will uh get back to you I will get back to you on that it won't be until June, like I said, so um, I've got every everything till the end of May. I'm 
kind of booked up with the interview. So, um, looking for artists. I've been doing quite a bit of musicians. Uh, artists seem to be a little shy, <laughs> which I'm surprised, you know. But, uh, yeah, so be nice to get some artists on here. We've got a nice little transition pretty much here. Get a little bit more here. Just making little circular motions with this little brush here. Getting it to look better. And then I'm going to go through that black again because I want it to be real dark. Looks a little shiny right now, but that's because it's wet. Make that black off of there. Okay. Oh, I might be pulling some of it off actually. Kind of transition into this a little bit better. There we go. Kind of smooth it out a bit. Okay. As this starts to dry, you can see the uh, canvas coming through, so I'm going to add a little bit more white here. Get some more of that in here. Because I want this area anyway to be kind of light because I'm going to be putting my flamingo in here. So it needs to be quite light. Just not pressing real hard with my softening. Just want to soften it up. Yeah, I kind of like that effect there. It looks like clouds. Okay. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. See what's going on here. It looks like it's just me and you, Anthony. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of funny. So, get this to dry a bit. Maybe I'll just put the uh, hair dryer on it. I think I don't have it plugged in. Oh, yeah, I have it in. I have it plugged in. Okay. It's plugged in, but it's not working. There we go. I especially want to get it dry where this white is here. <clears throat>
I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more white gray as it's drying. I'm seeing the canvas and I don't want that to show through. This has to be more opaque. And that's probably because this um, white paint isn't a real heavy, heavy paint. Like a, you know, like a uh, Windsor Newton paint, and I'm just about out of that, so I have to get some more. So let's see here. If we can just get this a little lighter through here. Just want this to be really textured and through here. Get a little bit around here. My brush is kind of wet here, but that's okay. This wispiness is what I want. Get a little bit more black on the edges again, especially where I'm seeing the canvas come through. Okay, I'm gonna get another brush so that uh, the white. This is a uh, number eight filbert. Just get some of that black on here. And I'm going to get another blending kind of brush here. Okay, a little brush to blend. I don't like this brush because the hair comes off of it, but. I could probably work on the background forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Probably this is not a good time to be painting because a lot of people are at work. Um, you know, uh, But I haven't actually found a, a perfect time for this either. You know, like it just, um, I've tried different times. Uh, so, you know, people watch the replay. I'm getting that. So that's, that's, that's a good consideration too. At least the replay is being... That's good. All right, I'm going to make sure I get this really dry now. Um, I 
before I start to do a tracing. I, I like to trace on something like this. I mean, I could probably draw it, but I just want to get the detail. Now, what I do is I trace it on tracing paper, and uh, it'd be kind of nice if I knew where. Oh, here it is. So I have it traced on tracing paper, and what I'm going to do is attach it here with some tape. But before I do that attaching, I want to um, use a piece of chalk. Just move this for a minute. So I sometimes will do it this way. Um, just get some chalk and go on the back part of the drawing. Make sure everything's covered that I've already taken care of. And then I, I put these um, tracings on Patreon. I think it's pretty well covered. Okay, so I'm going to tape that. And you can see where I've got my pencil marks just to keep it in place. All right, and I'm just going to use a stylus, which is this little thing here, and just go over those lines where I, okay, and it's working, where I've actually drawn. thought this was a cool little thing. I might put some um, some other things in here as well. Like a bokeh effect. I'm still not sure yet what I plan on doing there. In some of these areas, I'm looking at kind of how the um, shapes, different shapes, triangle, here's like a geometric shape. Sometimes if you get used to that, some of those shapes, it's easier to draw. 
if you want to do it free-handed. And what I'm going to have to do is uh, probably go in on some of this and make it white. Just kind of like so that it, I can get my color to be vibrant on the black areas here. got to get his eye. Don't want to forget that because that's really an important part of this. Yeah, he fits right in there perfectly. Okay. Excellent. take a sponge here and just wipe some of this chalk off. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take my photo so that I can see it to work from it. Okay, the one area that I'm going to go into is here. It is pure black. So we're going to get a small brush here. Actually, this is a cheap little brush, but I like it. Um, there's no size on it. But uh, it's, it, it really goes in really nice here it grabs and you can just like work because it's a small little brush and I actually might get my angle brush as well right in here I actually might be able to cover a, quite a bit of this. Well, at least uh, my hands are not working <laughs> as usual. Oh, geez. I'm going to get a wipe here. those things to get those uh, marks that you don't want on there off. But you have to be careful not to take too much off. There we go. There 
very good. Get my little brush again, my blue brush. little his bill it uh I said it was up here a little bit but there's also some grays in here so I'm gonna kind of mix some of those up also because right in through here it's a little gray So there's that really dark black that comes through here. Okay, and this uh, actually comes up a little further. Okay. So, let's see now. We're going to get some white into this area here. Um, then I have to mix up like some orangish, yellowish shade here. Let's see. It's like a pinkish orange, so I'm going to get my orange out. This is my thick body um, acrylic. And I'm going to put some alizarian and crimson. Okay. I'm going to go into my white right now. And uh, I want to kind of like get some of this because there are feathers in here. So I want this, it's like a feathery look. Before I mix up those darker colors, just kind of giving it a little bit of a base. I don't want any black on this brush. Make sure it's very clean. Okay. So let's mix up some of this Alizarian and orange. These are very, very dark. Orange. 
orange here. Here it's kind of a lighter orangish shade. Uh, I have to get those a little bit darker, but right in through here it's very, very light. And we're gonna be highlighting a little dark there, like a shadow. That it almost looks pure white. But it isn't. It's a mixture of that pinky shade. This is just, I'm getting the feel of what these feathers on this flamenco looks like. Because it has to be much darker. Then it goes into a orangish pink. It's really pretty. Just lurking very tiny strokes. Very tiny strokes here. Pink. you could see this very well. I have the light. I'm trying to get it away from it, but it seems like you can't see it very well. comes 
over here. Pants are dry, very dry. Here, kind of lost it somewhere here. There we go. All right, so let's see here now. Um, there are some little white pieces that come in, like right in here. Oops, that's a little too much paint. Definitely right here, that's a white, definite white. Little feather. So this one needs a little bit more orange in here. With that red. that nice light pink down here kind of bring that in okay and then this has that orangish pink so I'm gonna bring that kind of coming through here Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so right here, I have one that comes down like that. <laughs> Sally, <laughs> stepping all over my stuff. So you're kind of drawing these in a bit. Um, area in here. I want that to be nice and bold here. Bold with the orange. get some more white and mix that in there with that with that being I don't want to take too much of that off of there because but I have to have that showing that it's like coming through like right here we got we got a lot of white Okay, and then 
right in here it's a lot of pinkish red orange pink red orange orange a lot of more orange in these birds i think um because they eat shrimp lots and lots of shrimp Sally does not know what to do right now. She's been back and forth, back and forth. All right. I'm going to just turn this light off because I'm not able to see how it's looking oh yeah there we go okay hopefully that's not too dark now it just helps me to see a bit better okay so now I'm gonna make this very very deep right in here this is a shadow right here Okay, I would like to get a little bit more light coming through here uh, in some of these feathers to make them look a little feathery, more feathery. So let's see if I can do that with this. Okay, so, like, just lightly brushing it just lightly going over it. Making it sort of like a feathery <laughs> Sally. <laughs> oh boy. Just putting some like little strokes in here, making it look more feathery. This has to go that away. Sure. Oh, he likes sitting on the paper cell. Hmm? Let's clean this away. Okay. Let me get a little bit of this red here and just tapping it in there. Make it a little too much. Too much red. I need to get that shadow. Shadowy. And right here, I want to get more of that. Oh, there we go. Still have enough on there. That's good. A um, little bit of a divot here. Okay, and then it comes down here a little bit. All right. So uh, right in here, it's a shadow. So it's a. It's not as dark as this one here. Okay. This one was a real deep shadow, um, but it is a shadow nonetheless. So it's a very deep orange. So I'm going to get some of that orange and put a little bit of the red alizarian in there. Just not as deep as the other, but dark. I may have to turn my other light on because I'm having a hard time seeing things here. Oh, thank you. Thanks for stopping by, Anthony. 
I appreciate it. This might be better. too much of that on there. Okay. So. Okay. And We've got that deep red up in here. Very dark. So I'm going to kind of go now the way that the hair would be going or the feathers. Just kind of kind of blending it in here a little bit. because we know that this is kind of like darker. Same under here, it's darker. So let me spray a little water onto that. Red. a little lighter in through there so we'll lighten that up a bit. There is a little bit of orange and I'm going to wipe that off a bit wash it and get some orange because right in here there's that transition so you need to have like a glaze over this just a glaze so that you know that's transitioning into that darker darker shade over here okay a little bit of red here just to kind of blend this in a little bit better all right. Now this is like a bright, bright orange. So I am going to get some orange and white. I'm gonna fill this in here. Now this this needs to be a little pink so I'm going to probably do a glaze over it I think this could be more like a beginner painting um, I didn't make it very technical. I wanted everybody to be able to do this. Get some pink here.
to get this a little bit darker red. It's um don't like using black if I don't have to, but I think we're going to need that to be a little less of a, uh, this is better here. Okay. I thought that's a, We want that to uh, just get darker. Um, make that a, it's a glaze. So I just mixed, you saw that, a little bit of red, and we just want to kind of glaze this a little bit. Same with here. I think that it would be kind of nice to kind of glaze that a little bit too. So it's not so vibrant red. Right in there, it's real orange. So, up a little orange now with that. I don't want to get it too muddy though. This has to remain bright. I think that kind of just muddied it up here. Some of that in his head here. Right underneath there, he has to have some orange. Right in here. Have that cast shadow. All right, so right in here, it's very light. Let me get some white in here. Very light, like.
pinkiest ones maybe. here just I'm just making little strokes nothing too detailed just to uh, kind of blend all this so that it's smoother looking some of those colors in there just to kind of give it a little spunk. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. More of the pinkish, orangish shade. And um, let's see, pink, more pink and brightness here. With that orange, just putting it with the orange here. So it gives that glow. Looking for that little bit of glow right here. All right, let me get some more of that on my brush. Just glow here. Giving it a little, it's sort of like in a triangle shape. Just to blend it a little bit. Turn it down. We don't want it too, too bright. All right, so let's go on to the head. Uh, that's like an orange and red. Bring 
some of that into this. So. here kind of make this easier to blend I'm really surprised that it went over that gray pretty nicely I wasn't sure how that was going to work it turned out pretty good all right so this red this dark red comes up into this area we want to make sure that we get that looking more natural. For this little guy. I'm just glazing and I'm just doing little strokes into this just little strokes glazing this not using the full amount um, I'm gonna get some of this pinkish white now I mixed kind of brighten up some of this because this is more sunlight here so although it's dark um, it was taken on a dark background for some reason I'm not sure why but okay. and right in here it's very very light I'll get that in there the lightness dimension in there okay and this is a little bit more orange red not real deep though but um He's got some really um, deeper orange or deep red, so I'm going to kind of just take this a little bit with the deep, and then we're going to go over it again with glazing. Because that those strokes go up into this, so. I want to make sure we get that right. Now he's got this really neat eye. It's yellow. So I'm going to get my yellow. This stuff is so thick you can't get it out. Oh, there it comes. Ugh. 
all over me. Of course, of course, of course. I mean, who can paint without making it a mess, right? Okay. Let me get one of my cloths. And I'm going to actually go in here with a little bit of a wash of yellow. out my brushes here a little bit. Let's see. Uh, just make sure it's just slight yellow here in some of these areas. Now I'm not going to uh, put that in real deep, but it's just a little wash. giving it a little bit more of a pizzazz, you know, just a little more pizzazz. Um, let me get my angle brush there wherever I put that. It's being my friend today, the angle brush. that in there. Uh, get a little bit more of this red. A little bit harsh here, so I'm just trying to lighten those up a bit. With some of my pink shade. enough that it just kind of takes on that very nice okay so now I need like a little liner brush so I'm going to pull out this one this is a round creative mark number one and I'm going into my yellow okay and I'm just going to add a little water to this yellow because I need it to be able to flow a little bit. Because I'm doing the eye. Okay. Now around the eye, we have some of that... Um, orange yellow and I'm gonna go around the eye with that it's more of the um, well the orange red kind of more red reddish uh, wanted a little darker so let's see here around the eye A little bit more red here. I mean water so I can get that to go flow easy so I'm kind of drawing this in drawing it in and I kind of want it to be more like that so I'm going to go into that darker because we gotta make the eye pop. This has got to pop. And there's just a little bit of a depth here. There's 
have some here and very small amount right here. All right. I'm going to get some of that nice bright orangish red shade. And that's going to go right here. Right here. Okay, and right here. And right in through here some. Bring some of those little pieces out and up. All right, and we're getting there. It's going to start looking, it's going to all start coming together. These are the pieces that kind of bring it all together. And right underneath his eye kind of just gives me a little bit of a light. I need this to pop a little bit more here. So, get some more of that orange. Get more of this black. I really want this to be dark here. Okay. And right in there is like a white, a little bit of white. Now, in through here, it's a very white, bright white. Um, I have a feeling that my angle brush, maybe I'll just use this little one right here. This is a um, shader, uh, one quarter shader. I'll use that. put this in the water too because it'll get st stiff. All right, so I'm going to go into my white. Just mix a little bit of pink in there. Just a tad because I don't want it pure white because it will look pure white here. We still aren't done with the um, I either. I'm probably going to have to put another coat on there. There's my hand. My hand. Right here. Okay. 
that's sort of got like some yellow in it. So I'm going to go with some yellow. Right in here, a little bit of brightness. Yellow. And right in here also, like in here, there's that yellow. But the thing with this yellow is it's going to blend in with some of this orange and yellow, I mean pink, so orange and pink. So we're going to just get that in there too. Okay. That brighter orange here, but... over like in through here it comes up okay goes down here may have gotten a little too much out of the way here right we'll fix that we'll fix that Okay, and then a brighter orange. Just get like a yellow orange here so that I can kind of blend it in. Okay. This comes up into this. Need to get that black to work too for us. And get some of this more moving in here. And um, coming down. Okay, and just a bit like that. Okay, yellow orange. More of that. Up here, good to go. Yep. Okay. Get some of this black and blend this up here just to go into this. I'll have to get more of that, so let me see here if I can get some white and gray just to kind of. darker gray. <laughs> It'll probably go darker, but I just want to make sure I got it good. All right. It's starting to look really nice. I like it. Okay, so we got to get the rest of his beak in. Um, this is like real pale orange, yeah, pinkish orange. Just want to get that in there, right in through here. Here, 
colors of pink. I kind of made those little pieces there so that it would be easy to follow um, with your with you doing it. Okay, now I got to get the white again. Let's see if I can get this to be nice and white here. Blends in there into that beak. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're getting too much. Okay. And right here, well, I have to get that too. I have to fix that. Okay, so let me just kind of. Going around this, which is going to be darker, and then this. Alright, this is very dark right in here. This little piece right here. Very dark. Uh, very red. Kind of. Very red here. Okay. Get more white. bit more pink here. I'm going to see if I can get that a little bit, uh, well, that looks pretty good. All right, so then there's some shadowing here, so I got to get some gray. And um, this is kind of a shadowy thing, too. So I'm going to see if I can get that to shadow up a little. A little bit more of a...
right and uh we're gonna make this a little more yellow here okay and give it a little dot if i can actually i think what i'll what we'll use is my my um stylus so that'll be a perfect perfect little circle thing there it's black dot all right okay i'm gonna go over some of this yet with black um because it looks too shiny over here and i don't like that so i'm gonna see if i can tame that down a little bit with some more black here just kind of deeper and uh, maybe just a tad of a grayness here not as dark right in sort of here be a little pinker though so I'm gonna go with that a little bit more you know you're never satisfied but this should be a little bit darker here um, right in through here that's still not dark enough Okay, same here, a little bit darker, just a tad, bringing it all together. Now, um, get some white on my brush, and just bringing it, kind of blending it a little bit better. And right in here, it's a little bit lighter, too. So I'm going to go with some light pink. Maybe some yellow with that. Kind of just get some light here. Should come up to a lighter. There we go. Very nice there. Okay, we might even go into it with a little bit more light here on the edge right here Hmm. Okay. Well, I think our uh, flamingo turned out very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, Let's just get some of these like, lines that came in here that were just a little bit more gray, like. 
and put some more black just to kind of get a little bit of have to forgive my shaky hands I, I really do like it I don't think I want to put any bokeh in here I mean I just like it the way it is I just think it looks great um, let me know what you think uh, I'd like to hear your comments I'd like to know if you liked it um, I always like to hear from you uh, comments you can give me you can give me a thumbs up if you like it uh, you can also hit like, but it really helps me out if you get, uh, if you do make a comment, it uh, helps my channel. It also helps um, the analytics, so I don't know, you know, let me see if I can put my name on here without screwing it up. At least my initials. I don't think this is going to work. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, please give me some comments. Let me know if you like this painting. Also, uh, I will have this on Patreon, the tracing. It will go up later tonight. And um, please, uh, I have, like, check it out. And um, check and see what my patrons do get if you become a, a, a member. You know, because uh, it helps me to buy the supplies that I need. Now that I'm not working, I'm going to need supplies. But once they run out, that's it. I mean, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Uh, probably because of my health anyway. So uh, hopefully, you know, I get monetized soon. And that'll help me out a little bit too, I, I think, uh, once that happens. So um, until next time. Everybody, bye. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, everybody, we'll see ya. Bye.